Hello everyone. Um, welcome. We are going to do another pick a card reading today and it is going to be a reading about um, pushing pushing boundaries. Yeah, so um, you know we all have boundaries that we set for ourselves and sometimes um, it's good to have these boundaries but at other times they can hold us back a little bit right so this reading is going to take a closer look at your boundaries um, and just how they work for you and you know how if you feel you stuck with them how you can get maybe a little bit out of those boundaries we're going to be doing a um, pick a card so there will be three options that you can choose from and also um, it's a beautiful sunny day here so I have the window open and I hope the noise is not too bad but it's really warm so <laughs> I might close it later during the reading so let's just clear our space a little bit before we get going with the shuffling first we send you some healing lovely healing <laughs> and then for for our space make sure it's nice and clear some for me as well we all need a little bit of love and health and then um, like I said there's going to be three options and I'm going to start shuffling now for each one I'm going to put some music on and I'm going to fast forward while um, I do that just do it in a quick so you can either watch or look at the timestamp after the shuffling where I have all the options for you. Cool. See you on the other side. So we have the three options here for you. Option one is a pen. Option two is a guitar pick. And option three is um, for when you paint a palette knife. So or palette, whatever you call those things. So if you want to choose one of them and then we can start.
Okay, option number one, if you chose the pen. So, what we're looking at here is pushing your boundaries. So let's just get like a little bit of an overview of this situation. Um, and it asks, let's see what, what, let's see, what does your boundaries um, stop you from doing? And it's pretty direct answer here. I think it tells you that um, your boundaries need to be or can be sometimes um, make you not take action. Yeah, maybe sometimes if you have these boundaries, they sometimes like um, stop you from being a leader, stop you from moving forward. Um, so yeah that that can very um happen very easy for you we're also looking at um if you look at um what can help you to take a risk to step out of your boundaries and we see this card with the guy on the horse. It ties in very closely to the hunter, yeah? Be the hunter, not the hunted that I talked about. And I think maybe you are somebody that, um, that, that, um, that stands dreaming and um, um, think about things and, you know, yeah, dream about things instead of, stepping in and just taking the action forward to break through any blocks that you have created for yourself. And the thing that will help you to step out of those blocks is change your, um, like think, um, not think, action, like, um, how shall I say this? Just get on that horse and ride if you if you have a, a boundary if you think you want to be do something if you if you want a, a new job and um, you have certain boundaries that you set for yourself like I, I don't think I can ever be a manager if you do, if you ha have a, and you want to step up a level and in your mind you've already decided you don't really want to be a manager that's, you're never going to be one unless you actually do something. Pick up the phone, write the email, speak to your boss, take the action to move forward to do whatever it is that you need, want to do, that you dream about. Because you're standing there on the shore, you have everything with you. You have the fire, you have the, the dreams, you have the, the tools. All you've got to do is take the action so that you can break the boundaries. This is such a beautiful card. It talks about the wheel, yeah? And the wheel of life turns. And sometimes it turns in a positive way and sometimes it turns in a not so positive way. But it always turns. So even if you do step out of the, the um, thing, I mean, what is the worst thing that can happen for you is the wheel turns maybe a little bit not in the best place. But does that matter in the long run? Because the wheel's going to turn again and then you will be in a good place. So, yeah, sometimes you just got to gotta roll the dice because look at that. You have the eagle spirit with you and the eagle spirit has your back. So take the action. You have some really cool birds. <laughs> they, are, they are some awesomely strong birds for you to take this. And everything you do if everything you do you do with an open heart with a with a kindness connected to it if you if you want to push your boundaries if you want to um, break through any boundaries that you've set with yourself go for it this is saying you know do it take the action but remember to always do it with love yeah, always do it with that open heart of compassion and of kindness without hurting others. Yeah, 
or yourself for that matter. Good. Hope this one helps. Thank you for watching. Now, if you chose option number two, which was the guitar pick, we will be looking at pushing your boundaries, the kind of boundaries you set for yourself, you know, um, how do they stop you from doing the things that you want to do, um, you know, what's the worst that can happen when you break your boundaries, those kind of things. So this first card is saying that maybe you somebody that like to listen to other people and um, maybe when it comes to actions and things that you take, um, you might be somebody that likes to listen to outside, outside information um, before you make a decision. And maybe what you should do um, is listening to your own voice. Listen to that inside of us. All of us have a little voice that tells us, tells us immediately we know what to do and where to go, right? And we sometimes um, get completely blocked ourselves because we just, we stop ourselves from being bigger because we listen to what other people are telling us instead of our own voice so listen for the truth yeah um if we look at these other cards what we get from them is that um when it comes to your boundaries again other people just remember to to it's good to get advice it's always good to get advice and hear from others but always always find your own truth in in yourself you know your truth you know your truth yeah you have that you have the knowledge inside of you so um We have a little noise out there, a big truck it sounds like. Um, I think if you feel like um, shaking up your routine, go for it. I think you should try and change the way you approach um, anything that you're not 100% sure of. Don't be fearful because look at this guy with the lion, you know, he, he's, he leads that he's a leader and that can be you right he, but also use your voice and and dream it's dream like when you have boundaries when we have boundaries when we set things for ourselves right and sometimes we jump into things but this is saying go a bit quiet and think a bit about how you approach life how do you approach your life how do you approach things when you want to do something when you want to be something what is the first thing you do do you go and um, talk to some people and hear what everybody has to say do you go and research on the internet on the internet you know do you go quiet in inside of yourself find out how you discover for yourself what you want to do and then if you find that answer, think a little bit if that works for you. Does that work the way that you approach things right now when you want to break through a, a, a boundary? If it doesn't, then try another way. If it does, wonderful, you know? Oh, isn't that just perfect with this whale? It says, trust in the great mystery. That is beautiful, beautiful. This is, um, I'm going to close the window just quickly. I think it's the garbage truck. So bear with me. The, 
the joys, the joys of living on a, on a busy little road. Okay, so um, trust in that mystery that the answers are inside of you. Just look at this. You have so much magic in you. You can hear your intuition is telling you exactly what you need to know, exactly how to break your boundaries. I cannot tell that for you. You already know it. So go for that. Oh my goodness, look, another one. <laughs> Can it get any more? <laughs> There's an angel. Oh my God, you're so connected. You are really so, so connected. So all I can say to you is just go quiet. Think of how you usually approach things. Think if that works for you, feel it. Does it work for you? If it doesn't work, think, feel. How can you do something different? Maybe you need to take it slower. Maybe not just jump into things. Yeah. Maybe if you are somebody that um, takes things easy, maybe you, you should just take action, right? So the answer in order to push through your boundaries is to go quiet and follow your own voice. Listen to your own voice. Yeah. So that's that for option number two. And uh, thank you for listening. Now we have option number three. If you chose the pellet knife. So we're looking um, at pushing my boundaries. We're looking at um, what do my boundaries stop me from doing? And um, this card is, is saying to us that it's saying that maybe you are somebody that has very specific rules about things. Um, you have very set boundaries for yourself. Um, it has to be like this. It has to be like that. I believe in this. And if if others don't believe in that, then that, that is completely not right. I am, this is who I am. And that can sometimes lead you to dark places and very stuck, yeah? Sometimes you can get very stuck and um, and even have maybe some regret. You're holding on to things, yeah? When you're in that um, type of um, situation or outlook in life where it's, it's very polarizing. Um, and it, it just, you know... It's not so maybe such a positive place to be. It's looking and, and maybe also looking back at your life and looking back at times of things. Um, there were times maybe that because of these strict rules that you put on yourself, um, you have regret over certain things that you didn't do. And all of this can change. Yeah, all of this can change for you and um, it's saying that there is a good um, there's a way there's a way and it's always is whenever we want to change something or an outlook or a way that we have the way to change it is just to go in yourself is just to go and investigate to go and look at what are the answers for yourself to to find them in your own in your own soul in your own mind yeah and these things don't happen overnight you know when you go and search for answers in yourself when you want to change some really serious um, thought processes or things that you have been in a way for for almost forever Things like that don't change overnight. You know, it, even if you wanted to, you know, it doesn't happen. It takes a time. And this little seahorse is telling you, just take your time with things. 
if you are very much a person that has this strong boundaries about around you about how things should be and what you believe in and you don't like that you don't want to be like that because it might have caused you some pain and hurt in the past it's not that easy to just change it right so so take your time with it think it through a little bit how do you think you can get out of it do you think maybe you could use meditation maybe you could use some sort of journaling or um, just thinking back on the day when you go to sleep at night on the things that you did and how you how you acted during that day and maybe decide tomorrow you might do some things different or say yeah I really did that really good today and pat yourself on the back right yeah it's really um, getting rid of those things that keep you stuck. Yeah, relook at your outlook, get rid of that, push it over, and find that beautiful space of that um, that connection that you have with yourself. Because only you can change the things that you don't like about you. Nobody else can do it only you and the only way you can change it is if you go inside yourself and if you go quiet and do it little little by little it's little by little it doesn't happen overnight a little bit of generosity maybe a little bit of play a nice song and dance a little bit of music to get out of this stuckness maybe Maybe start with things that are like, if you hate country music, play some country music and see how that makes you feel. Yeah, Challenge yourself with easy things before you go into trying to break down those big things that stop you from um, moving into whatever it is that you want to do. Good. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day.